Hi guys, you are welcome to another exciting edition on the Scorers Forum. My name is Idris Alassan Atma and today we are going to be unveiling the um, as far as for the 2022 and 2023 general student election. In as much as the Scholars Forum is here to tell you more about your aspirants, but they also want you to know that they are not supporting any aspirants as far as this election is concerned. They are just here to inform you about their credentials and what they can do for you as aspirants. In the same way, we also want to admonish student politicians to play in school and avoid any form of violence or criminality with regard to this election. So I would like you to join me as I take you through the aspirants, their credentials, their names, and anything you need to know about them so that you can choose wisely and be happy at the very end. All come from the commercial break, um, the Scholars Forum unveiling of aspirants for the 2022-2023 general elections. First, you are going to start with Nooks, and under Nooks, you are going to talk about the Wacom aspirants. We have here Miss Sophia Minkia Dut. Um, she's a Christian from the Upper East Region, offering DA in economics uh, and in level 300. Her leadership experience includes uh, serving in the capacity as a girl's prefect for Our Lady of Fatima, both primary and junior high school. And her achievements include she has established a better society which tackles issues of gender inequalities. Um, child citizen, drug abuse, and teenage pregnancy. And she's aspiring for the work home uh, nook. So it's up to you to vote for her. Now let's see who is next. We have Ms. Abiba Tubunam Abdullah, a Muslim, and she is in the Department for Development Studies. Uh, she's in about 300, and her leadership experience includes PRO of the Base Society, Deputy Clerk of Youth Parliament and the PRO of DESA. Um, let's go to the next one. We have Mabel Ama Kumiwa, if unfortunately we don't have her details, but her motto is believe we can, and it's up to you to vote for her as usual. Okay, so we are going to the NAS Financial Secretary at Fund. The NAS Financial Secretary at Fund. We have Mr. Waju Bin Kanye Samson, a Christian and a level 200 student, offering DSC Environment and Resource Management under, under the Department of Environment and Resource Studies. He is hopeful for the financial secretary. So our next um, hopeful is Mr. Amadou Prosper Daman. Uh, he's a Christian and offers B in social science belonging to the Department of Social Science. And our next aspirant again is okay, so we are down with the aspirant. We are down with the aspirant for the financial secretary of NAC. We are going to the big deal, the NAC presidential aspirant. Let's see what we have here. So we have Mr Anthony Abandandi. He is a Christian from the Upper East region a level 200 student who offers BA in political science. And yes, he has really uh, proved that he's offering political science by pursuing this journey. His leadership experience includes the president of the great intellectuals, organizing manager for the Scholars Forum. Yes, I would like to chip in something that the Scholars Forum does not stop any member from pursuing his uh, political ambitions, but we do not support. We are a, um, a, men, uh, a media house that supports everybody. Um, we have, he was also the financial secretary for POSA. And we have, and then the next, um, the next aspirant, we have, okay, so unfortunately this gentleman dropped out, so can we go to the next aspirant? We also have Mr. Gona Binyandi John. He's a Christian from the Bunu East region, a level 300 student, and his leadership experience includes the current Kokomba Student Senior Academic Committee Chair. Current Harvest Chapel um, International UBIT Campus Ministry Secretary. And then he's the current Booster UBIT Public Relations Officer. Okay, so the next um, aspirant, we have Mr. Saibu Hamdawe. He's a Muslim and a level 200 student 
who belongs to the School of Business and Law. He's offering Bachelor of Commerce and Accounting. His leadership experience includes ACA Ambassador and a Sponsorship Committee member at Youth Parliament. And our next, next, okay, so we also have Mr. Yaomana Adum. A uh, uh, NAC president for four. Unfortunately, we don't also have his details here, but you might as well vote for him. It's your decision. Okay, we also have Mr. Abdullah Joe Mohammed, who is also a NAC president for four. Unfortunately, we probably don't have his details here, but then you might as well vote for him. And we have Mr. Emmanuel Banyet Nontai. He's also a NAC president for four. We don't have much of his details here. But he says transformational leadership, so you can vote for him. So the uh, SRC, before we go to the presidential actor, let's talk about the financial secretary aspirant. We have the likes of Mr. Otri and Inkura Daniel, a Christian who belongs to the Department of Accountancy, offering Bachelor of Commerce. He's level 300, and his achievements include um, financial secretary for the Fibibri Municipal Tertiary Students Union. Sorry, association. And his motto is financial advocacy and responsibility. Can we please go to the next? Um, okay, so the SRC general secretary aspirant. So so far, I mean, we have just one um, person vying for the SRC financial secretary. So let's go to the next one, which is the SRC general secretary. We have Mr. Amanchagal Elijah. He's a Christian from the Greater Akai region and a level 200 student offering DA in political science. And his leadership experience includes the second deputy minority chief whip for youth parliament, UBH chapter. And we have, he's also a research manager for the scholars forum. Yes. And his motto is beauty beyond the ink. Beauty beyond the ink. You can as well vote for him. Okay, can we go to the next? We have Mr. Naisiri Imran Kasim, a Muslim from the Upper West region, offering DA in economics and in level 200. His motto is New Vision, New Direction. Okay, so we have, we also have Mr. Abarishi Thompson Akumbat. Um, he's also vying for the SRC uh, General Secretary and his motto is Beyond the Pen, Beyond the Pen. Oh, they have quite interesting motos. Let's go to the next one. We have um, Mr. Hudu Muhammad Sadat. And he's a Muslim from the Northeast region and belongs to the Department of Planning. DSC Planning is his course. He's in level 200. And uh, his leadership experience includes a secretary to Chairman Fund Youth Association, Jangal Community. Um, he's also a um, sports publicity and entertainment committee board member, member that's for the Department of Planning. And then he's a deputy judicial board chairperson, Mamprugu Students Union in Ubers currently. And his motto is the new era. So yeah. We have Mr. Sanachi Godway. Mr. Sanachi Godway is a Christian and belongs to the Department of Marketing and Entrepreneurship. His course is Battle of Commerce Marketing. And he's a level two hundred. His achievements include held the assistant boys to first position in junior high school. He's the deputy sports committee chairman for the then Upper West Hall. His motto is information at its peak. Information at its peak. Okay, so we have now the biggest deal, the SRC presidential aspirant. Let's unfold it and see what we have here. We have Mr. Oga I. Newton. And unfortunately, we don't have a lot of his details here. But then his motto is um, the Better Life Agenda. That is his motto. And he he offers be in economics and he's in level 300. Okay, so basically that's all we can tell you for now. We also have Mr. Idris Hafiz. He's a Muslim from the Upper West region, belongs to the Department of Sociology and Social Work and also belongs to the Faculty of Social Science and Arts. He offers BA in Social and Development Administration. He's a level 200, and his leadership experience includes the President of the Upper West Students Union, 2022 UBIT uh, chapter, UBIT 
uh, Mubed, sorry, and he's a minority leader at Youth Parliament 2022. And he's also a PRO in Infinite Research Institute 2022. Um, so his motto is commitment to tenacity. Commitment to tenacity. Okay, we also have Mr. Emmanuel Koran Singh, a Christian from the Ashanti region, and he belongs to the Department of History and Political Science. He is in level 200, and his leadership experience includes first GA Speaker Political Science Students Association, Welfare Chair Person Political Science and Students Association, and MCA Pharmacy Sales Personal Peanut Pharmacy, Ashanti region. His motto is, um, unfortunately, Unfortunately, okay, fortunately, we is more, and that is an impactful error, an impactful error, an impactful error. Okay, so we have Mr. Afu Kojo Augustine, a Christian who offers integrated business studies in level 200 and belongs to the School of Business and Law in Ubik here. He's the first, his achievements include being the first runner-up in African Aurora Business Network Best Business Speech Program. He's also the Public Relations Officer to the president of the AFC SCA Young Entrepreneur Federation. He's also the general secretary to the vice president of MAG. His motto is making your business great again, catalyst for change. And we have the likes of Mr. Yahya Musa. He is a Muslim from the Upper West region and belongs to the faculty of planning and land management. He offers planning as they call DSC planning and it's level 200. His working experience includes um, from 2009 to date in charge of operation of Kachi in Chungu district, Oti region. And from 2007 to 2008, he worked with the National Disaster Management um, Organization. That's the one municipal coordinator. His motto is service with transparency. All right, so next. It is, uh, okay, so unfortunately we don't have a lot of his details, but he is popularly known as the general, and that's what he used for his campaign activities. His motto is, a leader without the people's confidence is nullity. And he's vying for the position of the SRC president of SDD Ubers. Okay, we have Mr. Adayuri Samuel, he's equally vying for the position, but then we don't also have his credentials show you but his motto is people people and yes you are done with everything you've seen all your aspirants and we hope that we've informed you enough to make the right decisions for yourself so that reformation will take place but uh, we would like to assure you that we'll give you a full coverage of everything that is going to take place during and after the elections catch you same time on another edition of the scholars firm the scholars firm will inform to reform bye